So, let's resume right where we left off. So where we left off, all the different zombies came and are about to attack Doom Manor. Hold on, give me a second. Actually, she came from that fight last time. Um, so. so, yeah. Then we have the zombie X-Men and Fantastic Four coming around along with Wonder Woman, Wonder Man, and Punisher, and uh, Scarlet Witch sacrifices herself to stop the zombie plague. Then he goes to the Necronomicon, so he can resurrect the dead. Uh, we cut to him over in the graveyard, where Werewolf by Night, I think, no, no, just Moon, Zombie Moon Knight, is, uh, over in the corner, over in the corner waiting. Then resurrects the army of the dead, and we see a bunch of the monster zombies fighting them. We see the uh, some more of the zombie X Men, like Iceman, Wolverine, and Gambit fighting him. Fighting not him, but them. Uh, Cyclops stops his dreams. He has a torch. We see Asher pretty smug and proud of the fact. Oh no, it wasn't his smug. He's uh, looking for a way to get out. Then we see Doom is another person with a, uh, a universal machine. Um, there's a lot of people with universal machines. We have Stark, we have Fantastic Four, we have Doom. Who really doesn't have one in this universe? At least Cosmic Doom. Then we see Williams heads to the portal, tosses the book, and then the zombies see the book, and they're like, What do you mean? He's just, yeah, he's just gone. And then we see Doom break. We see Doom break the machine. You know? And the book's like, uh, Williams told me you would eat me. Warns I can eat you. You're a book. And then he adds Hulk the book as toilet paper. Poor book. Maybe an evil spiritual book of the dead, but still. And then we see him go to a different place, different places, to 
two alien, two dinosaur-like, two, uh, two post-apocalyptic-like, too smelly, too... And then we cut to poor Ash Williams going into another Marvel Zombies universe. But this one is a werewolf Marvel Zombies universe. Oops. And it's right as they're eating Galactus, too. And he has to run away. And, uh, now let's take a look at the different covers. I really like the covers, uh, to these. They're really, really cool. Uh, so you have the, uh, initial one, which is the Days of Future Past. Which is honestly amazing. I like how it just, in the corner, says appetizer, lunch, breakfast, snack, dessert, sausage, brunch, filet. Horse desire, chow, dinner, rump roast. And then the second one, you have the uh, Captain America punching Hitler. Oh, Hitler's just a bunch of tendons and spines. Then I actually in the corner, dressed up as Bucky. I think that's really fun. Uh, then we have the, uh, Dark Phoenix Saga from Nishan, the Avengers. Hey! God, I'm sneezing. <laughs> then you have, this one is based off the, uh, Spider-Man is playing co comic cover. Uh, the one with Captain Marvel and Panther. Original Avengers, the Ash in the back, and then like the Wolverine comic saying, come here, Bo, and the Ash in the background, like, hey, what about me? And you see the original uh, covers here, the Days of Future Past, original Captain America, original X-Men, original... That X-Men cover. Uh, then you have the Superman versus Spider-Man cover. Of the Marvel Wolverine Avengers. Overall, uh, I ended up paying like eight bucks for this uh, with tax. Uh, it, I mean, it's running value is a lot higher, but the story is great, and I love a nice hardback. They're awesome. The only downside when I bought it was like a little bit of coffee stain on the episode flat, so you can't even tell from the uh, It's a little bit like a, a like a wrinkle pattern, but it's not too terrible. And the book itself is like pretty dang convenient vision. And even if it didn't have the flap, you still have the thing that says Marvel Zombies from the Army of Darkness and you know, a bold, uh, green color. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you thought about these, uh, three videos in the comments.